beast. Thanks yet, but I did just find a freaking Turtle just jumped in the water. Do you guys see any snakes? Maybe one that I am not seeing. Oh, oh, there's a snake right here. There's a huge plain bellied water snake right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it. Didn't want to hurt her, so I had to let her go. But I did have her in hand, so I will count that as the first snake of the day, believe it or not. It's taken a little bit, but that was a big plain-bellied water snake, Nerodia erythrogaster. I didn't even notice it until I heard it moving right here. And then she just shot in the water and went somewhere right over there. But, okay, well, there's some sign of life here. There's a bunch of turtles right here. Barely seen them. All right, so I didn't get it on camera, but did, did just find a giant redheaded, uh, Texas redheaded centipede right here. This is actually the first one I've seen this year. Um, they are pretty common in certain areas, but for whatever reason, I just haven't come across one in a little bit. This is actually a pretty big one too, but let's see if we can get a decent look of it here. These are notorious for having one of the worst um, bug bites uh, on the pain, in, pain index in the United States. Um, so not something you want to get bit by by any means they have some pretty powerful venom uh not life-threatening by any means but it will definitely ruin your day possibly your next few days so especially one this size um, they do get quite large i would say at least uh, six to seven inches on average as adults look at this thing Um, and as far as diet goes, these just mainly hunt any kind of like other arthropods, you know, insects, arachnids, anything like that, that they can really overpower. And yeah, they're, they're not very picky when it comes to what they'll prey on, but it's really cool to see them. I mean, they're obviously very strikingly, um, pretty arthropods, but yeah, not one I'd handle. Some people would, but I'd prefer not to, uh deal with that pain if I was to get bit not that they go out of their way to bite anybody and it probably wouldn't bite me but you know just want to take uh, pre necessary precautions for sure look what we have under this right after the centipede a little Texas otherwise known as striped bark scorpion it's like a young female possibly gravid 
cool. Got a nice rug here. Just showed up now at another abandoned spot. Got a nice abandoned building behind me and some, uh, I believe there's some debris kind of hidden in here. It's really a lot more overgrown than it was last time I was here, but hopefully we can find some stuff. It's about 60 degrees right now, if I didn't mention that earlier, which is pretty cold, especially for late April. Um, but maybe we can find some stuff under undercover. We already obviously did find some cool uh, bugs, so maybe we'll get some herps out as well. All right, well, I probably just should have kept filming because probably 0.2 seconds after I stopped filming, I lifted a small part of that rug right here and I got a rough earth snake and a pretty one too. Look at these crazy red oranges on this one. They're usually like very dirt brown colored. This one is kind of still brown, but it's got more of a lot more reddish hues going throughout the body. Uh, this is definitely a prettier rough earth snake. Uh, quite a common species. We, soup, we see these quite often, but um, everybody. Still really cool to see one of that kind of red color phase. I've seen one red one like that before, but um, they're not nearly as common as the normal, typical brown color morph, but that's really cool. I'm gonna grab a picture, a little bit of video, and then we'll let this one go back under the rug, but let me lift the rest of this rug and see what else is under it. Oh, and I saw a ground skink as well. All right, well, since I'm gonna lift the rest of this rug, I'm just gonna set this guy under this wood right next to the rug. Typically, I would put him right back under the rug where I got him, but I just wanna lift the rest of that, so. Here you go, little guy. So this is what I was looking for. It's a huge piece of some kind of metal, and it looked really good last time, but we didn't see anything under it, so I'm gonna check it again and see what happens. Uh, it was extremely heavy and difficult to get my hands under. So I had to shut the camera off for a minute, but I didn't see anything under it. it. Looked great again, but no snakes, maybe just bad timing. I did see some rodent nests under it, so that's definitely a good sign. It's especially rough when you're herping by yourself, lifting heavy stuff like this, because you really don't want to get your hands up under it. You want to be extremely uh, safe and cautious when you're in areas where there's potentially venomous snakes, and there are absolutely diamondback rattlesnakes in the area. So. Right, and copperheads and things like that. So I don't want to be getting my hand right up under it. I had to get it at an angle where my fingers weren't um, there exposed under there in case there was like a rattlesnake sitting under there. But yeah, just something to know if you're out herping and doing this kind of stuff, you want to be really careful with your hands. But yeah, just wanted to note that. Gonna keep walking around and see what else we can lift. All right, it just, whoop, just flipped our second rough earth snake of today under a little bit of cardboard here. This is like your typical brown one for comparison here. Good looking snake that looks pretty healthy. This actually might be a gravid female. She looks kind of chunky uh, on the posterior third, but that's really cool. I'm just gonna leave her be. I'm not gonna bother her too much. I'm gonna put this back over her, but we'll count that. This rug looks pretty decent. Let's check it out. So I just lifted this rug up. Haven't seen any snakes yet, but I did just find a freaking tortoise, I believe. I mean, a box turtle. That is so bizarre. If it is, I believe that it would be a pretty good find for Central Texas. Looks like a pretty young one too. And I thought it was not alive at first, but it is absolutely alive. Maybe just hanging out under this rug, flat and kind of flat with his uh, arms hanging out. That is super cool though. What an interesting find. Come on, buddy. I wanna see what you are. All right, well, while he decides if he wants to come out of his shell or not, I'm gonna just look through the rest of this rug and make sure we didn't miss any snakes or anything like that. He's already starting to stick his head out, but let me check this real quick. I'm pretty much at a loss as to what this guy is, so I'm just gonna figure it out, put the name up on the video, and you guys will have, be able to see there, but that's definitely an unexpected find, and I'm definitely happy about seeing that. Um, you know, I was on the search for snakes, but... Um, 
mysterious turtle slash tortoise is pretty cool too. Well, I'm gonna put this little one back under his rug pile and then we'll keep moving. Oh, now you wanna take your legs out. All right, buddy, you go. Gonna, let's see, put you right, right there. Well, that's gonna be a wrap on this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope we saw enough cool stuff for you guys. I'm gonna head inside, get showered. I feel very tired, so I'm gonna rest for a little bit. But if you're new here and you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, because it definitely helps the channel out. And make sure you stick around, because we're posting stuff like this every one to two weeks, and you won't wanna miss it. All right, see ya.